Hey team, it is once again Sunday and time to dive into this week's ETF and Max List review. Biotechnology, weekly on the left, daily on the right, as I stated. What do you see? Well, there ain't a lot of power here right now, is there? There's another great maxim for you. Focus on stuff above the rising 50 day, you'll improve your investing results. Okay, focus on strength. Nothing there with biotechnology or biotechnology stocks then, so leave it alone. Oh, look at that energy. Now that doesn't look too bad on the weekly or the daily. And look at it trend up the eight EMA. That is a powerful moving average, folks, okay? And it's trending nicely. There's no clean entry on it now, but it has been telling us maybe look into some energy stocks. There, you've narrowed your focus. Here we go. Internet, first trust Dow Jones Internet. Looks good on the weekly, looks good on the daily. Steadily trending up, and it has for a while. Said, oh, get involved in some internet stocks. There we go. Or look for an entry if it forms a base up here in this. Here's another important lesson. If you're going to buy, buy near the pivot price. There was a pivot price here, okay? There's an edge in buying here. There's not an edge in buying up here. And you can see, well, it continued on, okay? It's too extended. Don't chase extended stocks ETFs, okay? It will help you. But there's strength in internet. Good to see. Let's move on. IBD 50 is improving. This tells you, oh, I'll be looking at some quality and should be looking at some quality growth stocks. It's showing some strength on the daily and it has been showing some strength on the weekly. Good. Gold miners lagging, leave it alone. I mean, look, I, look, look at the contract. Oh, this is grinding up. That's good to see. I ain't doing nothing. I'll leave it alone. You see what you did? You just eliminated a whole bunch of stocks you don't have to look at. Isn't that neat? That's what I like. Let's move on. Gold's picking up a little bit. Gold miners are lagging. Gold's picking up a little bit here. Maybe there's a shelf across here in the daily, but it's going to need some real volume. Also note, this is why we look at weekly. Oh, it's falling on heavy volume. Oh, it's going up, but it's going up on less volume than it fell on. Be a little cautious there, okay? There we go. Cybersecurity is acting decent. Okay, maybe looking at some cybersecurity. No clean entry there, but maybe cybersecurity uh, cyber stock could provide an entry, something to look for. What's this tell you? Biotech, stay away. There's nothing there. I'm, you're not going to find this setup in any book saying, oh, this is what you look to buy. Focus, I'll say it again. Please focus on strength. It will help you dramatically. It'll improve your investing results. Online retail's basing here a little bit. I, I think whenever I see this, I always think of a stock like Amazon, things like this, but that's shown some strength. What's one slight negative? It fell on fairly heavy volume and it's rallying, but on less volume than it fell on. Also, try to buy, this is a setup right here, a little bit longer bases or higher probability right there. Focus on simple bases like this that are, you know, two to three weeks or longer. The longer, the better. That will help you. Continue onwards, expanded software technology broke out of a base here and it's marching up. It's a little extended now, okay, but it is going up on steadily increasing volume. But what else does it tell us? Hey, I don't look into, you know, this is IGV, you could find out their top 10 holdings. Software, check out some software stocks. There's strength there. See now what we've done? We've narrowed the focus. We don't have to look at a million different charts. Narrow it, focus on the best groups, best stocks. Continue onwards. Medicine's hanging in here. The one risk in this ETF is there's a lot of travel range in the bars. I mean, oh, look, it's going up. It's going up. Oh, they take it down. Oh, look, it's going up. Oh, it reverses down. There's sellers up there. Be a little cautious. You need to see some strength where it pushes away from this level right in there. But again, it's a little loose, which indicates high investor emotions. Be careful with that. Continue onwards, medicine, again, um, IJH, um, <clears throat> S&P, iShares Core S&P, I'd have to look and see exactly what this is, or it might just be an S&P uh, S&P 500 ETF. I'm not sure on this, I'd have to follow up on this, but you can see, track it down and see if you can find out more. That's what you do up here on some volume, but you can see, and this is why I put this in here too. It's going up, but it's going up on less volume than it fell on. Just something to be aware of, okay? Doesn't look too bad on the weekly. All right, there you go.
continue onwards. Aerospace, kind of loose. Look at that. Look at the drop on the weekly. Look at that drop on the daily. It's loose in here. High investor emotions, stay away. We like clean and simple. Home construction, lagging, leave it alone. I mean, folks, it's below the 50-day. It's down in here, too, on the weekly. Just leave it alone. Don't. What do we do when we do that, accomplish when we do this, team? We've just narrowed our focus on things we don't have to look at. I don't want to look at a million different charts. I want to narrow it down to the best candidates and key on those. S&P 500 grows, kind of hanging in, not too bad. It's trending up. That's okay. Small cap's picking up a little bit. As you can see here, it says there's a rally there too. Real estate, what does that tell you? Do a compare and contrast. Oh, well, that's kind of going up. Well, that's not doing really anything. It's just pushing through the 50-day on low volume. I think I'm going to stay away from real estate. There you go. Transportation's picking up. Doesn't look too bad. Looking at transportation. Airlines, well, that doesn't look too bad either. Trending nicely, okay? And it's trending up the 21-day, and it's trending up the ADMA. Maybe looking at some airline stocks. Here we go. Regional banks are banking. Excuse me. Doesn't look too bad on the daily. Doesn't look too bad on the weekly. There we go. Looking at some regional banks. Oh, and always remember this. You could say, oh, do I need to look at a bunch of individual stocks in that group? You can, or if you find a clean entry in the ETF, you can just buy that. So this is lifted up. This one's a little extended, okay? But it does tell you insurance is picking up a little bit, all right? And it has been trending nicely. Key lesson for everybody. There's a spot right here. I'm going to draw this to help you. There's some tops across there. You say, oh, that's a good push. It's a little bit extended now from the pivot. Don't chase price. Buy close to the pivot or don't buy at all. Chasing price is an emotional endeavor and higher emotions and good investing tactics implemented are mutually exclusive. Don't chase price. That will help you a lot. Buy close to the pivot or buy right, sit tight. Don't chase price. Regional banking, that doesn't look too bad, does it? And notice this, it's picking up on a pick, uh, pick up in volume. Good to see. Continue onwards. I'll move on here. Midcap doesn't look too bad picking up. Tells you there's a decent rally. Oil services looks decent on the daily, doesn't it? But then you look at the weekly. That's why I do this. Look, your oil doesn't look too bad. Look at all the overhead supply on the weekly. Says be careful. Don't go heavy in something like this. There you go. A little choppy. Pharmaceuticals, stay away. That's just, it's bad. It's like, what was that model years ago? Just say no to drugs. There you go for right now. QLD's just kind of basing right now. Needs to really start showing some power here off these moving averages, okay? NASDAQ 100. That would be nice to see. QQQ, same situation. Retailing, kind of chopping around. I mean, it's trending up a little bit, but it's sloppy. Be careful. When you see a stock or an ETF that gaps a lot, be careful with that. You get caught on the wrong side, you could have problems, okay? Continue onwards. Cloud computing doesn't look too bad. Maybe looking at some cloud computing stocks. Trending. I wouldn't chase this up here. It's a little bit above this pivot. It's extended. Again, don't chase extended prices, extended stocks. Silver's lagging. I'd be careful with silver. Steel's kind of going up, but it's a little sloppy. Also, no. Steel fell on heavy volume and then rallied up on much less volume. There's not a lot of buying power there. What does it say? Leave it alone. SMH semiconductors kind of choppy here, okay? This needs to get back over the 50 day. What does it tell us? Be careful with semiconductor stocks. Done. Here you go. SOXL, another semiconductor ETF. And look what it's doing. No, no power with semis. Be cautious with semis. Spider's picking up a little bit. The S&P 500. That's good to see. It's going up on slightly decreasing volume, but it's trending up. What has it been saying for a while? Hey, you can look into some big S&P 500 stocks. And I need to know a lot. Folks, a lot of people don't even know that. You do now. Here we go. Same thing's true with SSO. Solar. There's a compare and contrast. You go, well, that's kind of steadily going up. Oh, man, it ain't doing nothing. That's powerful information. Areas to not look at. Stay away from solar stocks. Just leave them alone. Look at the weekly chart. That's not good. Continue onwards. 
Small caps picking up a little bit. No real clean entry, but it is starting to show more strength. Look into some small cap stocks, just like IWM. Oil picking up, but awfully choppy here. Look at the weekly chart. All these zigs and dags, you know, back and forth. Man, that'll mess you up. Be careful with like action like that. Aerospace and defense picking up a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. It is going up though, but there's not a lot of volume on it. All right, so just watch out. Be a little cautious. Let's move on. Biotechnology, another biotech ETF. What does it say? Stay away. I mean, look at that drop. Just leave it alone for right now. Just think of all the stocks you just eliminated from your search process. I don't want to look at a million different charts. I want to find the best of the best and focus on those. And that helps. Continue onwards. Home builders picking up a little bit. It needs to get through the 50 day with volume. There is some overhead supply here on the daily, and there's some overhead supply here on the weekly. We're about done, by the way. Continue onwards. Materials. There's not a lot of power with materials. I'd be a little cautious with that. Communications doesn't look too bad. Trending up nicely. XLC. Maybe you can find a couple of stocks in that group that looks okay. It's basing here on the daily. And I'll draw this to help you. Just take that out. Something to look at. Okay. Continue. Energy. Look at the nice trend on energy. Look at the nice base. There you go. What has it said? What's it been telling us? Hey, you might want to look into some energy stocks. That's good to know. That's good to know. Now, here's the flip coin, flip side of that coin. It's a little bit extended now, so be a little cautious with that. Just waiting that out. Continue onwards. Financials hanging in nice. Look at the trend. Trend on the weekly and nice on the daily. And it's been trending for a while. Said so maybe look into some financial stocks that look decent. I know one that looks decent. It's a little company called Goldman Sachs, GS. Look into that. Max list stock. Industrials picking up a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. Look into the industrial sector. Technology is basing. You can see it on the daily. Look at the weekly. What do we have here, folks? What about you? I see kind of a cup with a handle form forming, starting to form. There we go. Close near the highs on this weekly on decent volume. Okay, technology. And yes, we are involved with technology right now. A lot of them. This one's kind of leg and consumer staples, not a lot of power there. Be careful with that. Utilities, uh, I point this out more as a courtesy, but you can see it's kind of, there's distribution up there. Look, every time it goes up, it tails off here and here and here and here and here. What does that tell us? There's sellers up there. There's not a lot of conviction in buying up there. Be careful with XLU. Be careful with utility stocks. How about that? That's powerful information to know. Healthcare, there's nothing good here. What does that say? Be careful with healthcare stocks. That's great to know. You narrow your universe down dramatically. I like that. Move on. Consumer discretionary is acting decent. XLY. Maybe look at that and see if you can find some that looks decent. Okay. Now, is there a clean entry on this at this point in time? No, but perhaps eventually there will be. So just something to watch. Let's move on. XME. Basing here, metals and mining. Is there a clean entry here? Not at this point in time, but it is showing some strength. You could look into XME. Maybe there's a couple of stocks in that group that are showing strength with a clean base. And that's good to know. We're about done. XOP, oil and gas hanging in, grinding up. Maybe look into something in that area. Retailing got a good pop here on Friday, okay? That's good to see. We're coming into the holiday shopping season, right? That might be part of that move. Weekly, a little sloppy and choppy, but it does show strength. I mean, overall price strength. Just got to make sure you find a clean entry. And that really helps. Let's move on. Software's doing good. We're involved with software. Look at that move. Isn't that nice? There you go. Look at the trend on the weekly. Look this back here, too. Look into some software stocks. And you don't need to look at a million of them. Find the ones that are demonstrating good price strength backed by volume. Apple. Apple's picking up a little bit on the daily. You look at the weekly, though, it's kind of sloppy here. Okay, it's a little rough. I'd be cautious with that. Also, 
There's been some distribution. Look at the volume bars. I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see this better. Look at the volume bars. The red bars are a little bit higher than the green bars. Just things to be aware of. Slide that back down now. Let's move on. Here we go, Amazon. These are all matchless stocks, folks. And what do you notice? Well, there ain't a heck of a lot of a power in this. You're exactly right. And it fell gap down on fairly heavy volume right here on that daily bar. What does that tell us? Be cautious with Amazon. Are we in it? No. What do we need to see though? We always have a plan at Mission Winners. If this bounces off, pushes through the 21 day and the ADMA and takes out the highs of this bar, it could be a potential buy. However, again, there's heavy selling volume here. There's heavy selling volume there. There's not a lot of buying power in that. Be cautious with Amazon. There you go. A lot of people don't even, you know, they don't tear it apart like that. It makes a tremendous difference in our analysis and our decision-making processes. Makes us money and keeps us safe. Continue onwards, Alibaba. By the way, this is assorted alphabetically, as I stated. You just look at the day, weekly and you go, hey, nothing there. You're exactly right. Just leave it alone. You can say, well, maybe it's going to bounce. I don't get into the maybe game. I want to see strength begets strength. I'm looking for strength so that I can buy and continue on with that strength. That helps. Nothing here, so let's move on. Baidu, lagging, leave it alone. I went faster. I'll back up. Just to show you again. Look, it's dropping on the daily, dropping on the weekly. Leave it alone. Move on. Google. Google was looking okay here, right? Ran up, and then it starts to fall. Lifts up, and this is a valuable lesson. It fell on fairly heavy volume, and then it lifted up, but on much less volume than it fell on. There was no power there. What does that tell you? Leave it alone, okay? And we did, and I'm glad we did, because in the business, years ago, they called it, this is a haircut, okay? There's other phrases that could probably use, be used, but we won't do that here. Anyway, you just leave it alone. See what happens. Nothing to do with it. Goldman Sachs, I like this base on Goldman Sachs right here on the daily. Looks decent on the weekly, but, and again, I'll draw this to help you. There you go. Just clean tops, folks. I post this a lot on the Mission Winners feed. Simple bases that are easy to see. If it's easy for you to see and easy for me to see, it's easy for others to see. If it's easy for a lot of people to see, does it not increase the probabilities that A, they see it, we just covered that, and B, if it triggers, they will buy also. Yes, charts are truly an element of group psychology, group decision making. Get in line with it. It will really help you a lot. Okay. So that's where we're looking at here. Goldman Sachs got a top right here. What does it need? It needs volume. Not a lot of volume yet, but it may come in next week. Is it going to? I don't know, but we'll be ready. There you go. Let's move on. MasterCard's a little sloppy here. Okay. I mean, there's, you know, there might be a base right here. There's a little buy-in coming in here, but it is a little choppier. Just be, just be kind of careful with that. Let's move on. Meta, there's nothing there. And I have to share this with you, and this is important. I've been doing this a long time. If you really have to look for the chart setup, it's probably not there, okay? So just leave it alone. There's nothing here yet. Maybe eventually there will be. It's a maxless stock, but at this point in time, there's nothing. Another valuable lesson. This is the daily. Look at the weekly. Always combine price and volume, okay? in your chart analysis. And look what it does here. Falls on fairly heavy volume, goes up, and then falls on a slight pickup in volume again. There's distribution on the chart right here, and you can see the tail bars. Every time it runs up to that line, it backs off here and here and here. Tells you there's no conviction up there. Leave it alone for right now. That can change in a week or two, and we'll be ready. But for right now, there's better places to go. Microsoft, tons of overhead on the, day, on the daily, and the weekly, leave it alone, done. That's all. Netflix, oh, look at that. Well, that's pretty good. See this clean and simple base right here? Check this out, I'll make this a little bigger for you. See that clean and simple base? 
And look when it lifts off. Watch this. I teach this at Mission. I taught this at the IVD meetups for years, like 12 years on the big stage. Just going sideways right here. Oh, simple line, simple tops. Maybe if it takes that out with volume, that might be a buy. It's just simple. Nothing fancy. Okay. Advance it. Oh, gee whiz. Look at the volume pickup on that bar, folks. On this bar, the stock did volume at 2.2 million. On this bar, it did 3.7 million. That's a huge increase, folks, a 50% increase. What does it say? Oh, maybe, maybe that'd be good to buy in here. Yeah, and look what it does. I think that's pretty dang nice myself. This was a keyless stock, all right? This was on the keyless before it broke out. I made a video on it and it's working. It's, a, you know, it's a good start. Is it gonna continue? I don't know, but for right now, Gosh, if they all did that, things would be great, isn't it? There you go. So don't buy it up here, okay? It's extended. It's extended. But I wanted to educate thoroughly what to look for. This is what we teach, okay? And it works. By the way, so just so you know, my background years ago before I was involved in this, I taught on the university level. I taught advanced level classes. My final was 24 pages typed. And I wasn't an ass. It's just that I had high expectations. Same thing here. I want to help. I want to help. Let's move on. NVIDIA starts to go up and it tails off. We don't argue with price. That's the daily chart. Look at the weekly. Check it out. It falls on a slight pickup in volume than the previous week. It reverses down on a heavier volume than the previous. They're selling it right now. Leave it alone. Nothing to do with it. Just wait. It will most likely provide another great setup soon and we'll be ready for it. There we go. And until then, we have the patience and discipline to wait. NVDL is the same situation. Block. Block is working for us. We had a pullback. We had a base push through here. Pullback set up right here. And look at the volume pickup on that bar, folks. And it's working. We're in good shape. Price alerts. I'll drop this alert a little bit. There's a great lesson for you. Right there. I just set the alert and raised this one. An upper alert and a lower alert. It's not a stop. It's just an alert. Let the computer be your eyes also. So you're not staring at this thing all day long, okay? Not getting lazy, just delegate. Notice where I set the alert. I don't have it at the high, I've got it a little early. I don't have it at the low, I've got it a little early. That way, if it starts to fall, I'll be aware of it. If it starts to go up, I'll be aware of it. Yeah, we own it. So we'll watch and see what happens, right? Block. And then Tesla. Tesla broke out of this nice long base here and it's owned, okay? Lifting through here, that's the weekly. We own it. We started down here and caught this, okay? That's, I'm excited about that and I'm thankful. And it's trending nicely. Now it's just facing sideways. There's a line right here. It started to pick up and then it backed off a bit. But if this starts to show more strength, we'll buy more, all right? I'd be careful making it an initial position. We own down lower, okay? But always control risk, but it's working for us. I'm thankful for that. TSLL, this is a new one that I'm putting on the max list, okay? It's the ETF uh, related to Tesla, and I like it. It's lower priced, so it's more accessible to a lot of people. It's still plenty fluid, does a ton of volume every day. I mean, just right here on this bar, it did volume of 47 million shares, folks. It's fluid. You can get in it and get out of it without causing a ripple. That's what we like. Had a little level right there. You see that? I'll show this and just point you out. I like to educate and coach. Here we go. It's just going sideways. Gosh, here we go. Yeah, I guess if it takes out that line with volume, these are pretty clean tops. Um, oh, and there's good accumulation in it. Look, yeah, there's a lot of green bars. Oh, that's something to look into. Boom. And it does it on a good pickup in volume. There we go. That can be a start. There we go. And I think some of our members, I do believe, own it. There we are. And then we've got Visa. Visa is just basing right here. And there's a line, a base, right there. What does he need to do? Push through that line, these tops, and do it with volume. That's what we're looking for. There you go. All right, team. That's our weekly review. Hope it helps you get a clearer picture of where the market's headed and what stocks to keep an eye on. 
By the way, don't forget about our weekly top stocks to have on your watch list video coming out tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you're curious about what we covered last week, you can find the link to that video in the top right corner. Remember, these watch list videos are just a small taste of what our VIP members get with the daily key list videos on missionwinners.com. So if you're serious about finding those super performance stocks, consider joining us. Now, I'm curious to hear from you. What are your thoughts on today's market review? Do you have any questions or concerns? Feel free to drop a comment below. I love hearing from you. Thanks for sticking around for the whole video. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And remember, stay sharp, keep learning, and keep finding those winners.